Welcome to Rogue Trader. Please read the disclaimer and remember that prices can go down as well as up. Hello and welcome to an unexpected update on Frontier Developments PLC. I did a very detailed video on Frontier Developments back in January and if you click on the top right hand corner up here you can see there and I really do dig into the detail but unfortunately in the last few days has developed a very negative news stories for Frontier and I've now sold the rest of my shares in them. I've always been a great fan of Frontier and of their main game Elite Dangerous and I actually played it on the BBC back in the 80s. So as I showed before this is their pipeline of main products and what was very important for them to achieve their high estimates in the coming years was the success of their Elite Dangerous game particularly the Space Legs boost which came in the form of Elite Dangerous Odyssey and Elite Dangerous Odyssey was released on May the 19th so when they launched the game they did a live stream and here you can say David Braben on the actual live stream as the game was being launched and I actually watched this and in the live chat replay section which they've now disabled you could see oh while the game was launching and this was going on everyone complaining how the game wasn't working and of course if you look on YouTube you can see straight away that there's all these complaints what the hell went wrong with this game Elite Odyssey is the worst game ever made release is a complete disaster mega lag no missions carriers broken so this is obviously a disastrous launch of this game and interestingly I found out that as far back as 31st of March some gamer activists with much greater technical skills than I have had actually been porting the alpha release into uh, some specialist software and comparing it with the previous game and they found what they call a lack of culling techniques where apparently normally when a game gets more complicated as happened with this update there's things you need to do like um, you know various uh, picks and you know various rendered objects and things that you can't actually see on the screen like in the world or around you and stuff and behind buildings need to be what they call cold and taken out and they've managed to demonstrate through their activist activities that this is perhaps what's wrong with the game which has been commentated on as very negative because you know this sort of thing really needs to be sorted out before you release a game and then there's questions on is this because um, is this because of just incompetence before they release the game or is there something inherently troublesome with the actual Cobra engine that makes it more difficult for them to achieve this level of complexity in the game that they need so if you go on to the Steam website which is where the game is sold from you can see here that most of the reviews are negative and if you go down all negative posts or mostly negative posts and there's no doubt about it this is a total public relations disaster for frontier developments one saving grace is I went on to the steam charts where you can see how many people are actually playing the game and previously the numbers was was around 11,000 here um, for you know a sustained period of time and then following the release the numbers have jumped up to 25,000 although it is tailing off now fairly quickly but still that is a very big boost so they obviously made a lot of money on pre-sales and a lot of people jumped in and bought the game when it first was released I heard that it was at number one spot but that didn't last long as soon as all the negative reviews came in but still they obviously did uh, take in a bit a lot of cash but the problem is that in the longer term um, this release should have generated lots of new players who were interested in the shoot 'em up action that you got with the space legs upgrade 
And so we're kind of left with um, the diehard fans who would have come back to the game and they probably like it, but um, and aren't so bothered about the space legs part, but that's probably just like a bonus now for them. But the shame is that there was a massive potential audience that they could have brought into the game, which they failed to do so because of the bodged upgrade. So whenever I invest in new stock, I put together what my strategy is for it to make sure I always stick to the same game plan. And actually, when the news first broke out, um, I was holding on for a few days. I mean, I was there when the initial live stream happened. But in some respects, I kind of let my emotions uh, guide me a bit and I wasn't going to sell. And then just today... I was looking again at how much worse the publicity was getting. And so I went back to my original slides and then saw that several of my key risks have now been realized as of the last few days. They've produced a game that's a turd. The Space Legs has not got rave reviews. And I've put this as a yellow, not, not a red card yet, but... Um, you know, there's questions over their Cobra games engine. Can it handle massive MMORG games? So I've just sold. Um, the good thing is I've doubled my money from my original investment. But really, some key reasons why I bought into this stock have collapsed. And uh, my plan now is to wait out the next month or so. Their annual results come out in September. So this gives a good couple of months where we can sit back and have a look. And uh, what I want to see is if they fix the game and I start seeing good reviews, if the, new, if the user numbers are sustained at similar rates and um, I see more about the console release and see that the console release is going to happen with a fixed game. And also I can look at the uh, activist gamer reviews for insights into the Cobra engine, if it really is going to be able to uh, stand up onto the big stage. And if these things are satisfied, I'm interested in the idea of buying them back again at a cheaper price with the hope of realising the, uh, the longer term plan, in the hope of realising the longer term plan as we approach the, um, the, the full earnings release. Because I think that they're going to actually have okay numbers, despite the disastrous result, based on the pre-sales and the, um, the opening sales. But it's good to take advantage of all the negative news right now. So that was an unexpected update, but I hope you find it useful. Again, there's a lot of detail in the video I did previously, which you can see here. Good luck with all your investing.